Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Today I have five tips using OneNote, also using OneNote uh, 2016. So I have both of them running. Let me go ahead and get started with tip number one. I'm currently in OneNote 2016. I have a notebook called Training with all these sections running across the top. To print the entire notebook, it can't be done in OneNote 2016. If I go to File, Print, Print Preview, what do you want to print right here? What range? It's got Current Page, Page Group, and it has the Current Section. Notebook is not available. So I love OneNote, and I always swap back and forth using OneNote and OneNote 2016. And Microsoft recently announced that it is not going to sunset OneNote 2016. In fact, it's going to start adding features to it again. So I'm going to pop over into OneNote. And to print the notebook, up in the top right is Options, actually Settings and More, Print. What do you want to print? current page, current section, and there it is. The current notebook is what I want. I'm going to select current notebook. There's PowerPoint. If I just take a look at a few of these pages, so that will print. And that looks pretty good, by the way, the entire notebook. Tip number two is in Microsoft OneNote or OneNote for Windows also. Here's my training notebook and here are my sections. Here are the pages next to it. I like the way OneNote is laid out, and I like that the pages are here. Let me collapse that again. So if I pop over into OneNote 2016, here's my training notebook. There are my sections across the top. I can't make those run up and down, but that's I'm okay with them at the top. But over here are my pages. So I'm on the UGA section. Here are my pages. You can make the pages appear over on the left-hand side. So that is File, Options, select Display, and right here, Page Tabs appear on the left. So this will move over to the left-hand side, not just for this notebook, for all notebooks. And so that is the pages over here now. I actually prefer that. So that was tip number two. Tip number three is a great one. I'm going to stay here in OneNote 2016. If you look at my sections, I've got PowerPoint, Excel. I have a section called XLOOKUP, which is a new function in Microsoft Excel. Then I have OneNote and Word and Outlook. So basically, I've got a lot of applications as a section but XLOOKUP does not need to be a section by itself. It needs to be pages under Excel. So currently under Excel, I have these pages here and already have one for XLOOKUP. I should have never made this section. I've got two pages here. I'm going to put these under Excel really quickly. I'm going to right click, merge into another section. Where do you want to put these? I'm going to select Excel. I'm going to hit Merge. I'm going to get a warning message here. Are you sure you want to do this? Absolutely. So I'm going to click Merge Sections. Then it's going to say, do you want to end up deleting this? Because I really don't need it anymore. So Merge Sections. Do you want to delete it? Delete. Bye-bye. There's the original page I had under Excel, but there are the two other pages I just pulled in that were in a section by themselves. So now the next tip, tip number four, I believe, most of my pages are just standalone pages. But when I get down here to XLOOKUP, I actually have three pages with XLOOKUP. So I'm going to add another page. I'm going to name it XLOOKUP. I'm going to move it. Just drag and drop. I'm going to select the three pages below it. I'm just going to simply right click and you can make sub pages. There you go. So I have XLOOKUP with these three sub pages. 
And finally, tip, the fifth tip, I'm going to swap back over now to just OneNote. So I've got a page running under my training, Microsoft Teams page. If I come down here to the bottom, this is actually a video I'm getting ready for. I need to put in some text down here and I don't want to type. OneNote has on the Home tab over here is Dictate. Let's give this a shot. I've already made videos on how this works in Word, Outlook, and PowerPoint, and it's great. I was getting about 120 words per minute. Let's see if it still works in OneNote. Hello, this is Chris Menard, period. I'm going to cover how to do slashes in Microsoft Teams today, period. New paragraph. If you have any questions, please let me know, period. Right now, I'm just making up stuff, period. Are you going to be at the meeting this afternoon? Question mark. New paragraph. Okay, it's working. Period. Anyway, there's the dictate feature. Uh, very accurate. If you notice that, it even took Microsoft Teams and capitalized it because it should be. It got my name right. So... Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Those are your five tips in OneNote today. Uh, after you subscribe, ring that bell to get upcoming notifications of my videos. And have a great weekend. Thank you.